Hi, this is Ben Sirica. I'm a cardiologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School, and I'm here with Practice Update to talk about some of the recent studies that came from the ACC 2020 virtual conference. So the COMPASS trial was a very large study of about 27,000 patients that compared rivaroxaban at a very low dose, 2.5 milligrams twice daily, uh, plus aspirin versus placebo and aspirin in patients um, uh, with uh, uh, high risk of coronary artery disease. So those patients with established coronary artery disease and those patients without peripheral arterial disease. And the overall study demonstrated that this combination of a low dose anticoagulant, the rivaroxaban 2.5 milligrams twice daily, when added to aspirin was beneficial in terms of reducing um, uh, the primary composite endpoint of cardiovascular death, MI, and stroke. So in this analysis, um, they evaluated the patients with diabetes and compared their outcomes with those patients without diabetes. And overall, over 10,000 patients uh, in the study had diabetes. Um, and there was a consistent and similar, similar risk reduction in the benefit of rivaroxaban versus placebo um, in post, both patients with and without diabetes for the primary endpoint, um, as well as all-cause mortality. But what is often seen in these types of subgroup analysis, the patients with diabetes were actually at an overall much higher risk of the cardiovascular events. So even though they had a relative uh, uh, benefit that was similar, the absolute risk reduction in patients with diabetes was more than those patients without diabetes. For example, it was uh, for the primary endpoint, um, it was 2.3% absolute risk reduction in diabetes and 1.4% reduction in non-diabetes. And that is a statistically different um, number. And, and so what you see is that uh, diabetic patients, because they're at higher risk, have a greater absolute risk difference, which would then correlate to a smaller number needed to treat uh, compared to patients without diabetes. I think a host of data, but most importantly, the COMPASS study has shown that a low dose of an anticoagulation is beneficial in reducing cardiovascular and peripheral events. And this is, um, I think, important as we consider our typical therapy is usually antiplatelet therapies, whether aspirin plus a PTY12 inhibitor. But this um, data, uh, I think, um, does very much support a role for low dose anticoagulation in high risk patients um, on top of antiplatelet therapy. Mm -hmm.